Okay, so I am back, and, um, <laughs> I'm actually in a completely different area. An area that, um, it's gonna piss you guys off, because, well, I found something in this area. I found the, uh, where is it? Uh, no, it's a new, yeah, here it is. The M63, an American-made system weapon, belt-fed light machine gun version, uses 5.56mm rounds, like, I guess that means like 45 ammunition, like basically like, whatever, magazine size is 100 rounds. So yeah, that's what I found here by accident. Um, to show you where I am, I'm underneath actually a house. <laughs> Just a random shack that was in the middle of this damn area. Um, what happened was, is I was trying to get back to where we were before, right? And, well... Um... Basically, what ended up happening is... I was trying to run away from the enemies to, you know, escape, and wound up here. <laughs> and actually, this is actually a good place, because if you blow this building up, I think because you can do that, I think there is a way to blow this building up, you actually get some cool stuff from doing that. Because apparently there is ways to, like, blow up the environment. And I think this is one of this one of the buildings, if I'm not mistaken. I just love how I accidentally came across this, though. That was actually the coolest thing ever. The uh, gun emplacement that you see right in front of me, right there. I think that's one right there. Actually saved me. If I didn't, if I hadn't grabbed that and started just wildly shooting with it. I would have been all the way back to where I was before, and you probably wouldn't be seeing this. <laughs> but I killed a hell of a lot of guys, I'm not gonna lie. So, um... <laughs> it was funny though, because they came in with like the riot shield and, you know, all that bullshit. And then I grabbed, since I was on the, um... You know, emplacement. It saved me and had me, like, like, they even said, get to cover! It was, like, actually really funny. I was like, man, I wish I was recording right now. Understood. Return to your position. Yeah, I don't know if you can actually... I'm actually kind of half serious about the blow of the building up, because I don't know if you actually can, to be honest. Huh? Who's that? What's going on? Radio! <laughs> Please hurry up and just die. I don't even see anybody. There's a uh, silencer. Any grenades equipped? That's so unlike me.
Wait, life medicine? Interesting. I don't remember picking that up, but that's awesome. <laughs> I don't need those anymore. Or that, really. That's not really the right place for the grenades, anyway. This is. I have 20 of them, anyway. Yeah, I found out that apparently covers when they toss a grenade at you. Duck! If he's still alive or not. <laughs> so I just <laughs> did a really ass thing and just kept <laughs> stabbing his dead corpse. Oh god. Let's cure our burns and our gunshot wound. There we go. Oh, man. Okay, so we used regular grenades. Let's go ahead and use um, something else here to have a little bit more fun. I love these. Wow. <laughs> Makes me feel like a dick. <laughs> Which I really should because that was kind of horrible. Oh my god, I can't remember I, if what game it was that I've played before that had white phosphorus grenades and they really made you feel bad for throwing them in that game. Ah. Uh. I can't remember if it was like the Ghost Recon games or if it was something else. But I just remember that like, um... I had, you know, thrown a white phosphorus grenade in like a house or like, you know, like one of the hiding holes or whatever. And all of a sudden you just like hear screaming because they're all on fire and I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> I was like, oh, I feel like a total dick bag. This does look important. Let's put one of those grenades away. Take out the TNT. I'm gonna try this just to see. That didn't actually sound like it did anything. Oh, he's over there. Stop. 
God, I hate how long it takes to tranquilize someone if you don't hit their head. Take forever to die from that. <laughs> okay. doing I'm doing great this is actually a hell of a lot of fun I'm just I'm not gonna lie <laughs> I was actually getting kind of pissed off because I kept falling into the same hole over and over again because I did not know where it was gun that I really have that really has ammo left is the freaking um, one thing. fucking button. <sighs> I tell you, like, it's only when I'm recording that I do this, by the way. I haven't hit the wrong button any other time. <laughs> Oh, 
I can't believe I found that area like, by mistake. I seem to be the only one left. <laughs> I'm scared, HQ. What do I do? <laughs> That's how I would imagine that conversation to go. <laughs> HQ, HQ, please send me someone else. I'm all alone. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, actually, this must be the... This might be the thing I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, this is their food storage. And apparently you can blow this up, from what I've heard. I'm not actually sure how. I think that might work. I'm not sure. What was that? I thought I just saw a snake. <laughs> this is HQ. Yep, that worked. Yeah, they didn't say anything about uh, reinforcement and uh, reinforcements. Oh wait, could it be the guy that I left sleeping on the ground, maybe? Wherever that was. Yeah, that definitely blew the building to smithereens, so... There is a very good reason why you want to do that, though. Because... If you do that and then escape, you know, this area without dying, you can actually, uh, when you get killed by the end, if you get killed by the end again, you can actually go back to, um, you can go through those areas and all the people there will be complaining about how hungry they are. And basically that helps you to, um, be able to get through there easier. Oh, yeah. I forgot, I have a, um, <laughs> as this game calls it, a calorie made of my own in my pocket. Because I'm still wearing my goddamn, uh, work clothes. So, yeah, see, now they're saying stuff like I'm famished. And so what you can do is you can take your food that, you know, is like, um, shitty, right? And you can put it as a weapon and throw it at them, right? And then they'll eat it and get the shits, more or less, or <laughs> whatever, right? So let's take... Oh yeah, I need to... I'm not even use the directional microphone. It doesn't work. I mean, it probably does. I'm just pathetically stupid. Which we already knew that, so everyone can shut up. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Where can we... Where can we throw this for fun? I'm happy that we got a whole crap load of calorie mates and rations. Unable to determine the problem. 
Understood. Return to your position. I'm famished. I found some food. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing because it's like terrible to just like imagine what he's going through right now. He's like, yay, food! And then he eats it and now he's just like, oh my god, what's wrong with me? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh. Basically, all it does is help you know where he is, though. That's like the greatest thing about it. I wonder if there's anybody else in the area. Because if there is, I can... If there's not, then I can kill him. traps by crawling answer me anything else this area has trapped yeah that was useless thank you I wonder if they're like strong armed people though, if they won't do that. Well, while I was, while I was doing that, that would have made someone come, I'm sure, so... Hmm. By the way, you can still do the thing that you did before in the last game where you, um... take and, um... What's the word? Um, like, keep uh, mashing the button until you break their neck if you don't want to stab them to death, you know? So that's an option. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, that's the way I need to go is up here. <laughs> I just love that so much. I found some food! Oh, yeah! And then he's like, oh my god, my stomach! <laughs> I feel like such an asshole, but like, it's hilarious. I mean, it really is. <clears throat> the binoculars and first person view will prove useful in detecting the enemy's presence. You should also be making use of your motion detector, active sonar, and anti personnel sensor. You might also try using the directional microphone. Oh, that was a bird. I was like, what could possibly be there?
fucking hate how you can't move with the thing. Of course it makes sense. It looks like there's something up there, but I don't know if it's him or not. Uh, that's just a regular plant. Whenever I see something behind me, I'm going to turn around because it could possibly be him, and I don't want to take that chance. In fact, that looks important. What the hell is that? Binoculars and first-person view will prove useful in detecting the enemy's presence. Do you have anything else you important also for be me? making use of your motion detector, active sonar, and anti-personnel sensor. You might also try using the directional microphone. Nothing else helpful for me, do you? I know it's hard to believe, but the end is apparently capable of photosynthesis. He's probably got an edge over you in terms of stamina. You should start hunting for plants and animals and prepare for a battle of attrition. Mm, I'm not very prepared for this fight. Well, that's the most I can get. That's a snake hanging from a, hanging from a tree. Oh shit, you know what I just remembered? I need to get the hell out of here. Because I forgot to save. And I'll be damned if I'm going to go through that again. Ah! Wrong way. So, I know it's cheating, but what I'm probably going to end up doing, if I am shot by him and taken out, I'm probably just going to turn off the game and turn it back on, so that I can just be right out here instead of taking all the way back to the goddamn thing, because um, I'm pretty sure that as long as, like, you know how the game has a continue function, yes, but like... If you turn off the game or otherwise, you know, say that you don't want to continue from the continue point, you will um, always. Snake, have you seen Doctor Strangelove or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb? What? Doctor Strangelove. Have you seen it? Uh, no. It's about this insane American Air Force commander who sends a bomber out to drop an H bomb on Russia. It's a black comedy. Doesn't sound very funny to me. The actor who plays Dr. Strangelove also plays two of the other main characters. It's actually kind of funny once you get past the scary parts. It just came out this year, so I bet you could still go and see it. Maybe when I'm in a lighter state of mind, I'll give it a try. <laughs> okay, then. Now I'm ready for this. I could just, like, imagine him be like, where the fuck did you go? I love how he says that, though. He's just like, welcome back, Snake. 
you know. <laughs> Like, I don't know why you left, but welcome back. <laughs> All the same. You know? <laughs> okay, I'm at one of the sniping points where he's at, possibly. Okay, so I need to... Anything? No, okay. That's damn good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> it started to rain, huh? You burn a lot more stamina than normal when it's raining. Be sure to eat on a regular basis to keep up your stamina. It started to rain, huh? Tell me about the food that I had. <laughs> God. Hmm. It does appear to be something moving towards me. Oh crap, did I actually use my other battery? Oh, wait a minute, is my battery recharging somehow? Oh, there's a bunny. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Okay. Okay, his most popular one is near the, uh, shack. I do remember that. Sucks I'm not very hidden up here. God, that scared the shit out of me because the fucker just like said, oh, I'm going to get up. And I'm like, why the fuck are you getting up? Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry, guys. Oh, 
Wrong button. Please pull up the map, you shit for brains. There you go. Oh, he's in one that I didn't know was even there. Yeah, he moved. I wonder if I, like, somehow got... <clears throat> I'm sure, like, if you accidentally get too close to the exit, then he'll shoot you, too. And I wonder if that's what I accidentally did last time. You know it would be stupid if I've been using the directional microphone wrong the whole time. hear anything. Because I can hear the game just fine right now. So yeah, that's the exit. And if I go too, much cl too close to there, the asshole will probably shoot me and then that's it. something. Nope. Remember, if you aim your uh, scope at him, though, then he can know and he'll actually react to that. So you gotta be careful. Anyway, I gotta end this episode anyway. It's getting way too long. So when I come back, we will see if we can't take him on. Till then, everyone. Bye.